Doug and PA back with another one. Here we go again, guys. Rory McElroy is filing for divorce from his ex-wife. Now, luckily, he's filing for divorce in Florida and not California. Because if he filed in California, you know what that means. Luckily, he's dodging that bullet. And he's originally from Northern Ireland. But they got married in Florida, and he has his primary residence there, but he's filing for divorce in Florida. So this article is called Shocking Info Comes to Light After Roy McElroy Files for Divorce with His Wife. And we're going to get into this story. Before I do that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment. I really appreciate it. It shows you support me and what I'm doing over here. And you guys know that women file for divorce 70 to 80 percent of the time for a man to file for divorce, especially a man with kids, it takes a lot. So I wonder what this woman did for him to file for divorce. So let's get into this. It says, McElroy, 35, filed for a shock divorce with his wife on Monday, just three days before the start of the U.S. PGA Championship at Valhalla. Roy McElroy and Erica Stoll share a young daughter, Poppy, who was born in 2020. They've been married for seven years. According to a report in The Sun, the world number two was last seen in good spirits with his wife, Erica, at the Players' Championship in March, but there were no signs of Erica alongside Rory at the Masters last month. I wonder what happened. Well, maybe someone will, will, will do a FOIA request and get a copy of the divorce decree documents. A sources reportedly informed The Sun how news of McElroy's divorce has been a complete bombshell to his pals. This is after McElroy allegedly recently bought a plot of land on the Wentworth estate in Surrey, England. McElroy, who resides in Florida, United States, is believed to also have a home in London and another in his childhood town of Hollywood, Northern Ireland. News of McElroy's latest plans to move permanently back to England into the luxurious Wentworth estate was confirmed by a source to the Sun last week. As, um, Rory could have easily have seen the family's future at Wentworth in London, at least up until recently. He spent about £10 million pounds and £14 million on plans to the home at Wentworth, which he is having built to his specifications. That's partly why the news of his divorce was a complete bombshell to people who know Rory. Anyone who saw him with Erica at the Players' Championship in March would have thought everything was hunky-dory, but clearly that was not the case. That is why people have been so blindsided by this. I wonder what happened, man. I wonder what happened. For him to leave his wife and child, I guarantee you it was justified. Something tells me this woman was, was a complete nightmare and was trying to pull a... Um, a Giselle Boone can try and say, oh, you play, you, you play golf too much. You, you're not there for me and your daughter. Blah, 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 like all these women do. So McElroy filed divorce papers with Palm Beach County Court in Florida on Monday this week. It really came to light that Rory and Erica signed a prenuptial agreement in March 2017, a month before they got married. <laughs> Woohoo. Good job, Rory McElroy. Let's go. I want to see more of that. They also agreed to share personal responsibility for their daughter, Poppy, who was born in Florida. While an official reason for the split is unknown, Rory's Ma Rory McElroy's team confirmed his marriage was irretrievably broken. McElroy's team have asked all journalists to refrain from asking him any personal questions during the, the week's US PGA Championship. However, that's not preventing a couple of journalists from pushing their luck. And then he shut all the questions down because a lot of journalists are scumbags. I wonder what happened, man. His wife is probably a demon, I guarantee it. He's like, look, I can't keep doing this. I'm hoping that we get to find out what happened. I'm hoping she doesn't try to fight the prenup because we all know look what happened to Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner's attorney, Kevin Costner's wife's attorney were saying, well, when she said that she understood what the prenup was, she didn't understand what understand meant. That's what these lawyers do. So let's hope she goes off peacefully into the sunset with whatever money they agreed to in the prenuptial agreement, and he can start his life all over and get himself a cute little 23-year-old. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Like the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.